Hello YouTubers, it's Champion DJK coming at you again with another weekly update video. And oh my, am I tired today. But, I got a lot of stuff this week, so I'm going to show you it. Yeah, my band played last night in Minneapolis, which is about four and a half hours drive from where I live. And uh, yeah, didn't get home until 6.30 this morning. So yeah, it is now approximately noon, so I've had a couple hours of sleep and stuff, so, but... Man, whew. So if I sound tired in this video, I apologize. But uh, anyway, <clears throat> without further ado, let's go through the stuff I found. This was a really good week for um, finding some stuff. Uh, my main competition, Jeremy Bolter, was out of town this week. My buddy Crazy Todd was also out of town this week. He was in Canada. So I had this, the town of myself, basically, to uh, find some pretty neat stuff. And I, I came out pretty good. All right, so anyway, um, the first night of hunting yielded three supers. I found three of these Porsches, uh, Porsche supers, which I already traded two of them away. Um, and I actually, one thing I got from one of them, I just got this. I hooked up my buddy Josh in town with a Porsche super. He wanted it. Um, he just traded me this loose Chevy 2 super for it, and I... That was okay with me because I already do have a carded super of this, but now I can trade my carded one. So I've got a carded Chevy 2. Um, if somebody needs it and wants to work out a trade for it, um, let me know. I've got a carded one of these that I could uh, trade. Uh, so that was pretty cool. Thanks, Josh, for that. Um, the other one um, I traded. Gosh, now I'm having a hard time remembering what I traded the other one for. Um, oh, yeah, there's another Ultra Red coming my way. I think I already have it, but... It's all right to get dupes of it, because maybe I'll flip that one after I get it. I'm not really sure. But either way, I'll show you that when I end up getting that box. So, um, found three of these. Pretty awesome. So here's the last one of the ones I have. I already have one of these loose. Um, this likely will be for trade. Um, I know Jeremy, my buddy Jeremy, local buddy, has expressed interest in it, and I may just hang on to it for him and trade it to him. So... That's probably where it's going to go, because I know he's got some Ultra Reds coming in a trade that I need, and um, he's probably going to flip them to me for whatever I can trade them for. Him. So that's pretty awesome. So, um, And other than that, um, I did find one of these carbonators. Uh, my buddy Jeremy, I know already he's got one of these or two of these aside for me. That's okay. You can always use some bottle openers, so that's pretty sweet. This was the only Christmas car I wanted was the bottle opener. That's pretty awesome. So I got that. Um, we got the regular Porsche 934-5. We're just going to open all these right here. So I like the regular version. I think it looks pretty good. So there is that guy. And let's see here. We got that 85 Honda City Turbo. There's that guy. Pretty cool little car. Kind of neat little thing. Little tiny wheels. Pretty cool. Um, maybe we'll buzz all these by the, the camera in the second half, I don't know. That guy, the Fair Lady 2000. Pretty cool. There's that one. Uh, we got the Dodge Charger SRT. Let's crack all these. Pretty sweet. I should mention also, another thing I got in the mail, but I'm not going to show you in this video, because uh, it's not mounted to the wall yet. And I didn't want to bring it in here, but um, I got a carny case, uh, thanks to my parents, for Christmas. And it just came yesterday. So, that's pretty cool. Here's a Morse Mini. I'm going to fill it up with all Auto World. I did go with the angled slots, because they would fit the cars in 148 cars. I know um, Travis at Heavy Metal 164 said they look crowded in there, but, you know, I just had to go with that angled one, just because the... The slots are big enough to fit our world. So once I get that all set up and I've populated it with vehicles, or with some vehicles anyway, because I don't have 148 loose auto world yet. I got definitely 148 that could crack, but uh, yeah, we'll populate that. And then I'll show that to you. Um, Lotus Esprit S1 in blue, pretty cool. Um, I'm not sure if this was supposed to be... Someone had mentioned something about this possibly being like a Toys R Us exclusive recolor. I don't I don't know if that's true or what, and that the Lambo might be too. I don't I don't know for, for certain. Somebody had mentioned that, though. Um, 
I think it was my buddy Shiresh mentioned it. Uh, but there's that guy. I dig this casting. I like the Esprit. That's pretty sweet. All right, so found that stuff in the store. That was pretty cool. Um, I did also make a trade for a uh, Ultra Red that I didn't have, which is this Corvette. That is pretty sweet. And this is from, uh, I believe this is from at Greg and Rachel on um, Instagram, which is actually who I traded one of those Porsche Supers to uh, for another Ultra Red. And then he threw in a couple of extras. Thank you very much for those. So that was pretty cool. We're going to open this up in the second half. Um, more store finds here. I was able to find the uh, two pop culture uh, vehicles that I wanted from this Scooby-Doo series, which was the Mystery Machine there and the uh, Volkswagen T1 panel bus. We're just going to go ahead and crack those now. I'll roll them by the camera in the second half, but we'll crack them right now. There's that guy pretty cool and then uh, Scooby-Doo mystery machine pretty cool on those wheels so there is that guy all right so I found those I also found uh, two of these for my buddy Shresh and two of them for Todd so they got what they need from that um, I also went to replay toys which is a kind of secondhand little uh, toy store here that's got some die cast. And I picked up some Matchbox. Uh, just I picked up some ones for a dollar a piece. So we got this Dodge Challenger SRT8. We'll just crack these in the second half. I'll take a quick look at them right now. This TVR Tuscan. Uh, this 2007 Ford Shelby. And Land Rover Discovery. Pretty cool. Uh, Chevy van, you know, I'm a van fan, paid two dollars for this one, and the sweet Dodge Magnum. I had to get a Dodge Magnum in the, in the collection. So there is those. Um, I also found an Ultra Red this week. Boom. This is the Chase version of this car, not to be confused with the non-Chase version. And actually, we'll open up both this version and the non-Chase version in the second half, so we can really look at that paint in detail and see if the red version of this car, if it actually is the same paint. It's going to be hard to tell in the packaging, so we'll definitely look at that. Um, and then I also found this guy at Toys R Us. Wanted that one. We'll crack this and take a look at it in the second half. It's the Ford Falcon XB. Uh, so that's pretty cool. And I found this Starsky and Hutch 124 Green Machine, which is already traded. So I'll be shipping this out on... Uh, Monday. All right, so there's that. And then, oh yeah, I opened two cases of Auto World on camera. This last uh, last video that I put out, I think it was Friday night um, or Thursday night, whatever night it was. Anyway, so I scored an Ultra Red in there, which is pretty cool. These are the two Vault cars that were sent with that. And um, I'm going to go ahead and crack these in the second half of the video. We'll take a look at those. There's a Mustang in here as well. It's going to be somewhat of a Mustang oriented orientated video and the reason is I do have some um, bad news unfortunately um, my friend Chuck uh, passed away uh, almost two weeks ago now um, I was gonna mention it in my last video but I decided not to and I decided to kind of maybe do some sort of dedication to him anyway long story short Chuck was a, a buddy of mine I had met at the pegs at Target um, he was out of collecting, had been out of collecting for a long time, and then he was just kind of peeking at the pegs for, uh, cars for his grandchildren. Anyway, I, I struck up a conversation with him. Um, we ended up becoming good friends. He was retired, so, um, he decided, he, you know, he, I basically kind of re-put the love of collecting die cast in his head. And then he um, started buying collections and selling them at, like, uh, car shows and stuff. And anyway, we became really good friends. And then, unfortunately, he ended up uh, getting cancer. And, um, you know, he fought for about a year, but it was uh, liver cancer. He was on the transplant list for a while, and then he got booted off of it because he kept uh, relapsing or whatever. Uh, cancer kept coming back, and... Um, 
and unfortunately the inevitable happened and he he passed away so um that's an unfortunate thing um you know i was it's just it's it really sucks because you know he was you know non-drinker non-smoker um and then to get you know liver cancer and then uh succumb to it so um anyway i don't want to you know bring you down or whatever by talking about my friend Chuck, but, uh, it saddens me. Um, it just sucks that, you know, that had, that happened to him. And, um, yeah. So anyway, he was a Mustang collector and, uh, he loves Mustangs. He's, he had carny cases full of Mustangs, just full of loose Mustangs. So, um, in his honor, we're going to go ahead and we're going to crack some Mustangs in the second half of the video towards the end. Uh, we're going to crack this Mustang Boss 302 Super. So I'm going to add that to the loose collection. We, we'll crack the regular, why not, too? So this is, if you're not familiar, if you're a new collector, this is from 2015. Uh, and then also from 2015, there was another Mustang Super, this guy. And uh, we're going to crack that in the second half as well, as well as the regular. And then um, Chuck also hooked me up with a lot of cool cars. If you go back and search uh, my videos and just search his name, Chuck, um, you'll find times where I hauled stuff in from him because he would get collections. He would occasionally let me cherry pick the stuff that he got, me and my buddy Todd, and I would go pick out some cool stuff. But anyway, the first time that Chuck and I met, I got at his house, I got this from him, a uh, Supervan, which Supervan is one of the main castings that I really like from Hot Wheels. Um, this is from 1982. It's copyright 1981, but I think it was released in 82, which was the year that I was born. Anyway, so he gave me this on card. We're going to crack this Supervan in the uh, second half of the video. And I think that is it. So we can flip the camera around. We do got quite a bit of stuff to look at here. And um, we'll go ahead and uh, crack some stuff open. And uh, let's we'll flip her around. All right, so first thing we're going to do is go ahead and roll some mainline Hot Wheels by the camera. Um, starting with this Chevy 2 Super Treasure Hunt. Got a trade from my buddy Josh. Pretty cool little piece. This uh, Spectra Flame Pink looks absolutely awesome. Um, with the flames and stuff, I think it's a really cool looking Super. They did a job of that, so dig that. Thank you very much, Josh. Um, and then a quick look at the Porsche. We've already seen this close up, but here's a look at it again. And then here is the regular i'm actually a big fan of this super i think the wheels are actually a great choice for this casting i know some people have uh expressed some disdain over the wheels i think that uh the wheels look great on this so i say good job mattel on that one and then here's the regular the regular looks pretty good too it's nice enamel blue so pretty cool little pair of porsches there so there's those uh quickly buzzing the mainline cars by we got the carbonator there's that guy. Open some bottles with that. Happy New Year 2018. Pretty cool. And then we got the Honda City Turbo. Neat little car. Customizers are probably going to do some really cool things with this casting. Um, should be seeing that on Instagram for sure. Um, really kind of goofy looking little car, but uh, I dig it. Pretty neat. Uh, there's that. Little Mini Cooper. Urban Outlaw livery. Very, very neat. Always pick up Mini Cooper when they put them out. Dig that little casting. Um, Lamborg two and Lamborghini Countach. You know, I'm a big fan of Lamborghini Countach. Not a big fan of this tuned casting. You know, I wish they'd do another release with the, the regular casting. You know, they released it in the Lamborghini series and kept its... Uh, I think they kept its all metal features, yeah. So, and uh, pretty cool casting. This thing is... Whatever, it's goofy, but it's Lamborghini, so I had to pick it up. And then you got the Fair Lady. Pretty cool. Kind of a bland blue and black color scheme with blacked out wheels, but I think it looks pretty good like that. So there's that little car. And then uh, Dodge. This casting just looks pretty nice, and I think they do a good job always on the on the tampo scheme with this this casting. So I think it looks pretty good like that. So that is pretty cool. And then we got the uh, Lotus Esprit. S1. Dig this car. Dig this casting. And here it is blue with gold wheels. I think it looks pretty nice. Um, 
Then we got the pop, pop culture cars. Here's your mystery machine. Totally dig that they put these uh, wheels that debuted in the Japan Historic set on the mystery machine. That's pretty awesome. Um, the added deco would be Scooby-Doo popping out of it here on the side. So other than that, you got full deco because it's a pop culture release, so it should have headlights, taillights, and uh, yeah, neat little neat little mystery machine. So there is that, and then here is the T1 panel. I really wish that they would release this casting in like normal series. Now they are going to release it in a car culture series. I think it's going to be under the transporter or some. I don't remember the name of it, but there's like uh, trucks and vans are in it. So I think this one's got Moon Eyes livery is when the next time we'll see it. I think the only other time you've seen it in like a normal type of livery, non-pop culture-ish, uh, would be that Fat Lace uh, bus that came out. So, but here this is, Scooby-Doo series. I'll never pass up picking one of these. Anything that they put out with this casting, I'll definitely buy it because you know I'm a VW bus collector. Um, next, let's take a quick look at this Ultra Red. Got this in trade. Uh, really cool piece. This is from um, License Premium Release 2. I've already cracked it open here, of course, because it requires a blade to do so. And let's take a look at it. Really neat little car. They are going to release this casting again, I believe, in the next upcoming series of Auto World. Um, other than that, it's only had two releases. It was in License Premium Release 1 and License Premium Release 2. Um, it's pretty cool. The hood opens like it should there. Really super detailed on the inside of that motor. And you can't see that on camera. One of these days I'll get a better camera and we'll stop using my phone and I'll actually be able to zoom into stuff. Uh, but for now, this is how you got you to suffer with that. So really cool and then just for gigs i brought out the uh this is the ultra red from the previous series of the same casting pretty cool kind of interesting how they left the uh the behind the headlights are ultra red color instead of that that reflective silver which is kind of interesting other than that it's fairly similar except for of course the wheels are different too but uh Really cool little pair of cars. These are going to look great in my Carney display case with all my Auto World stuff. That's going to look just awesome. All right, so there's those two. Then let's cr quickly crack this guy, this Ford Falcon XB. Of course, we've seen this in the, um, uh, what release was it in? Hollywood, of course. This Mad Max, unofficial Mad Max car. And here it is in kind of a normal uh, livery or just a non-blacked out type. And I think it looks pretty cool. This casting, they did an excellent job with, Greenlight did. And uh, I think this looks really good. Uh, the green machine of this, I think, is a green body green machine. So that might be a, that would be a cool one to get. Because I am a fan of green body green machines. I am not a fan of green machines that are just green base, green wheels. It's just kind of, I don't know, it just kind of looks goofy to me. So I like it when the chase piece actually enhances uh, the look of the car more than just green rims. So... But anyway, this car is pretty cool looking. It's a good roller. Um, I like it. That's pretty awesome. All right, so there's that. And then let's open up. Let's see, you got a vault car here. Uh, Johnny Lightning vault car. This is uh, from, I think, 95. Somewhere in there. Anyway, let's open it up. It's only limited to 15,000 pieces. So let's rip this sucker open. I don't have a Johnny Lightning drag race car like this in my collection, to my knowledge. So it'd be cool to, to add this casting. Um, it does have plastic tires. Uh, this is open. It's really tough to open, but it does. So there you go. Funny car. It's pretty sweet. King of the Burnouts. So there's that. And you get a little collector... I don't know, pog with it. So there's that. And uh, kind of neat. Um, then let's quickly, let's before we get into the Mustang stuff, we're going to open up these match. Well, this is a Mustang. Let's uh, open up the other Matchbox cars. Here's the van. We'll do this quick. So this one is from, uh, from 2008. City Services, Water and Power. Um, I like this casting. It's a van casting. You know I like vans, so 
I would like to get more of these that I don't have. Start kind of going after that little matchbox casting because I do like it. Here is the uh, Dodge Magnum. This is from 2009, I think. According to the copyright date. It's a pretty sweet little wagon with the full wood paneling. Surfboards on the top. Kind of wish it didn't have the surfboards, to be honest with you, but still a pretty cool looking casting. Um, this is being released, I think, in an upcoming Matchbox series with uh, rubber tires and stuff. And I think it's released as a cop car, so I think it's got a light bar on the top. Pretty sure. Could be wrong, but I'm pretty sure. And next we got the Land Rover Discovery. Couldn't pass these up. I mean, for most of these were a buck a piece. And I'm like, well, if I would have seen them on the pegs like, for a dollar, I would have bought them. So let's pick them up. So this is a pretty cool little casting. I did do a custom of one of these for somebody once. Uh, put headlights in one of these things, and it was kind of a nightmare to do because trying to cut out that square headlight and make that look good was uh, really, really tough. Um, but here is that Land Rover Discovery. Shout out to Dano, uh, a fellow Wisconsinite that watches my videos and is a Land Rover fan. Check that guy out. You probably already have that one. All right, so the TVR Tuscan S. This is uh, from 2009. Go ahead and crack that quick. Uh, the TVR Tuscan is a really kind of goofy-looking uh, supercar, I guess, or sports car. Um, really interesting-looking shape, I guess. Looks kind of futuristic. Uh, but I had to pick this up for a buck, and I don't have any example of this casting in my collection, so I definitely wanted to grab it. So there's that. And then... Uh, Last one before we get into Mustang stuff, you got the Dodge Challenger SRT8. Really nice looking casting for a dollar. You got heads and tails. Nice uh, metallic orange. And uh, looks pretty good. Alright, so there's those. Let's crack some Mustangs in honor of my late friend Chuck. Buddy, I'm definitely going to miss you. Um, just really unfortunate that you passed away. And um, we're going to go ahead and crack some Mustangs for you, bud. Starting with this matchbox that I picked up for a buck at that uh, Replay Toys. There it is. Looking very nice. It's kind of got a pearlescent yellow color to it. Um, this is from 2009. So, really cool. Mustang. All right. And then uh, let's get into kind of doing this from like. Here we go. Johnny Lightning Vault Car, Mustang Mach 1. I don't have an example of this casting in my collection either. So, that is pretty cool. It's got plastic tires. This is metal body, metal base, otherwise. Opening hood. Cast metal. Um, engine definitely not as cool as the auto world Mach 1 casting, but still kind of neat The pr proportions are a little wacky on this one which some Johnny Lightning castings. They just are um, But still pretty neat for that again. This is limited to 20,000. So they made a lot of these and again you get a One of those guys one of only 20,000 only only 20,000 all right, so there's that, and then uh, let's go ahead and crack these three Mustangs. So we'll start with the Ultra Red. This is the Ultra Red that I found on the pegs. So there that guy is. We'll just go ahead and rip her open. Uh, the regular castings are limited to 2,500. Ultra Reds are 3% of the production line, so you can do the math and, you know, really you got to double it because the casting is the same whether you find it on the set A card or the set B card. So technically, you take 5,000 and multiply that by 0.03, which will give you 3% of the total run, and that's how many Ultra Reds there are. So probably over 100 or so of these or whatever. Um, really cool. Really cool to get this and add this to my collection. It's got a little weird thing where the where they were painting the silver in the headlight. Looks like it got onto another part of the casting. But there it is. There's the ultra red version, white base. So that's how you really know that you found the right one. Aside for it was easy for me, obviously, because they found it on the black card, and you saw a red car with a black. Um, on the set, you know, that's supposed to have the black Mustang, so it was easy to, to figure that one out. Um, but you will sometimes see it on 
half of them are going to be on this card, which this looks almost identical to it. The only thing is, is that it doesn't have the white base. So let's go ahead and open it up real quick. Um, and I, I got to think that they do this on purpose to try to fool people. But look at that. That, that looks very ultra reddish. And now that it's out of the package, it is a bit lighter in color. I don't know if that translates well on camera, but it is slightly lighter. And, but the base on this one's definitely whiter. So that's how you tell if this is the Chase. If you have trouble finding out, if you pick this one up and you see it, and you're like, is this the Chase version? Is it not? Look at the base. If the base is white, you got yourself the Chase. So there it is. Dig this Mustang uh, casting. Really nice job they did finally with the headlights on this one. They used to be just silver there. They changed that up. And then for giggles, we might as well go ahead and open up the set B one. Rip that guy open quick. And this is the black one. That looks pretty awesome too. So there is that. Another Mustang. Pretty cool. I mean, these really do look pretty much the same. I mean, it... This is definitely a little bit darker, um, but yeah, I'd be hard pressed to like, without being able to see the base to tell you which is which. So, pretty cool, pretty cool. All right, so there is those guys. I'll just kind of line them up back here in some sort of unorganized fashion, and then uh, let's quickly open this super. Again, this is from 2015. I'm just going to pop her open. I believe I got this in a trade. I didn't find this one. Uh, so there's that. And I'll quickly open the uh, just regular mainline version so we can set them up next to each other. So there's the mainline. The mainline is pretty ugly, I think, with those wheels. But the Super, I think, looks pretty good with those yellow wheels. Kind of a Spectra Flame paint. Translucent blue. Nice roller. Um, looks pretty good but definitely not as good as this one. This Super looks fantastic to me, and we'll open up the regular one real quick first so we have a compare. There's the standard one, which I think looks good in and of itself, and then here is the Super. And the Super looks fantastic for a super treasure hunt Mustang. I think that looks really good. I think there is a color variation of this. There's a lighter uh, paint job of this one. I don't know if it's done on purpose or accidentally or whatever, but there's definitely a lighter color variation. And then I think this is actually the darker one. I don't know which one is more rare or if it's really a true color variation or what, but uh, this is a really nice looking super. Glad to add it to my loose super collection. So when I get that carny case up, I'm going to have room for basically a, at least a full plane out where I'll be able to have all just loose loose supers on the wall. So once I get that all figured out, maybe I'll do another room tour video and uh, we'll take a look at that. I love these lettered tires. I think they look so good. Um, just, here's the original. I mean, that looks pretty good too, but uh, man, that thing looks great. So there you are. Um, and then let's go ahead and crack this, guys. This is the first car I was, like, super excited to get from my buddy Chuck. Uh, this is how he used to have his collection in a database based on these numbers right here. So he definitely had a huge collection. Um, I'm not sure what's going to happen to his collection. Um, now that he has passed, I know that his children um, weren't really in interested in it at all, and I'm not sure what's going to end up going on with it if his wife is going to... Um, if his surviving wife is going to sell it or what she's going to do. Um, he had asked me a long time ago if I would possibly help him. I was afraid of this Tampa rub because I could see that orange on the other side. And this is why you got to crack your cars. Look at that. Who knows when that actually happened, but um, you can definitely see it in the, in the flame job there. So that is kind of unfortunate with this one, but you know what? It's been in the package as long as I've been out of the package, so had to set her free. That's all right, it'll display nicely this way. And there you go, it's a super van added to the collection. Um, I do have one of these already loose, but it is in really rough shape, so 
glad to add this one. So anyway, I'm gonna miss you, buddy. Uh, miss you, Chuck. Um, you know. Yep, just sucks, man. Just dealt a bad hand to, to when you know it should have been in the one of the happiest times of your life with your grandchildren, and um, yeah, it's just too bad that that all got taken away. But um, hopefully you're you're in a better place now, and you're not suffering and anymore, and and that's about all I can say about that. I you know, not real good with words when it comes to. Uh, uh, stuff like that so all right guys well that's going to be it for this video i really appreciate you guys all watching um liking commenting subscribing all that great stuff i hope you enjoyed the content today and um we'll see you in the next video have a great week and uh see you later